How are you today? And welcome to Landuxia. What a fantastic day for me to try to blow some bubbles today. And if you watch my channel, you know that I love bubble gums. Today, I have a new bubble gum candy that I've not tried before. They're from a very big candy company called Hershey. I think most of us know what Hershey candies and what they do. But I did not know they make this bubble gum sitting in front of me. It is called Bubble Yum. In my recent past videos, I did bubble gum videos from two companies, one of them. It's called Double Bubble from America's Original. And they look like this. You've probably seen my video already. I love Double Bubble. They blow really big bubbles. And another bubble gum company that I've had in my previous videos is called Hubba Bubba. It looks like this. I don't have the packaging, but it looks, the wrapping looks like this. And inside, it looks like this. It's got some sort of a fruit filling on the inside and outside. It tastes really good. But, but this bubble gum from Hubba Bubba, it didn't blow its big bubbles. That's the dig with double bubble. Oh, and it also come in fruit flavor as well. So if you don't like the bubble gum flavor, check out the fruit flavors. Three beautiful fruit flavors. I really like. I'll provide the two links for Double Bubble and Hubba Bubba below this video if you want to check those other videos out. Let me show you this package. Look at this, bubble yum. It is in cotton candy flavor. <sighs> Cannot wait to try it. <laughs> it's a very small package. Let's open this up. Wow, I can smell the cotton candy right away. It smells really good. So the question is, can Bubble Yum blow big bubbles? Like double bubble? We're gonna find out. It's got the, the logo bubble yum on it. Let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, look at that. It's got some sort of a coating. I'm not quite sure if that's like I'm not sure if that white coating is sour coating. Or it's just flour to make it not not to stick uh, against this paper wrap here. But it looks like that. I've never had bubble yum before, so this will be my first time. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so there's no, there's no fruit filling or any kind of uh, 
like a candy flavor feeling on the inside. Just, just a solid piece of gum. I was hoping that on the inside it would have something like this. But the smell is just delicious. It smells like cotton candy. Let's, here we go. So far, the flavor, the cotton candy flavor. It tastes quite good. And it lasts a little bit longer than usual. I wanna see if I can blow. Well, not, actually not blow yet, but I wanna make some snapping sound first. Snapping sound is much louder 
and it's like on a higher pitch. It's almost so loud that I almost go deaf every time I pop uh, a popping sound from Double Bubble. It's really loud. You can wake up the dead. That's how loud it is from Double Bubble. Now, when I blow, when I make popping sound from from this company, Hover Bubble, this one, I can't hardly do any popping at all from Hover Bubble. So if you like to pop, do a lot of popping sound, don't buy this. This one, I was able to make some pretty decent popping sounds, but the sound's a little bit on the low, like a lower pitch sound. Then from, from Double Bubble, which I really like. That's not too bad. That was not bad either. Quite 
delicious. I'm, I'm able to do some snapping, not as loud, not as loud as this from Double Bubble. And the bubbles is very decent size, so it's not like you no know, tiny little bubbles, but I got some pretty nice size sizes. But on my short videos, I can blow from Double Bubble. Huge, huge bubbles, like, like, almost like this big. It is just enormous. I'm calling it world record. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try two pieces to see if the bubble gets any bigger. Oh, let me taste this. Let me taste the powder. I don't, I don't think it's sour. I think it's just regular flour, but... Yeah, just regular flour. The gum, the gum starts out a little bit on the hotter side. The flavor, the cotton candy flavor is so good. Okay. Wow. With two, for some odd reason, when I put two pieces. Same size.
shape. size. That was a cool, that was a pretty cool popping sound. Bubba, which is this, this 
brand. I like it a little bit better because I can, I'm able to blow bigger bubbles and make pretty loud popping sounds. Not quite as loud on the same level with double bubble. Either this or from the fruit flavor package, all the same. It just tastes different. I also like the, the, the candy flavor, the cotton candy flavor. It was quite, quite tasty. I'm not sure if they have other flavors or not, but when I was at the, at the local store, they only had this flavor. So if I find another flavor, maybe I'll bring it to the show. But I do enjoy eating this. I love bubble gums. You probably know that from watching my channel. I do a lot of bubble gums. I do a lot of bubble videos and blow big bubbles. The snapping sound was quite good. It's quite, the pitch was kind of loud. It got kind of louder when you put two pieces together. For some odd reason, when I just when I had one piece in my mouth, the popping sound wasn't as loud as when you put two together. I don't know why, but maybe because it gets a little, a little bit thicker, uh, a little bit thicker in the layer. When I stretch it out in my mouth and pop it, that could be the, the cause and the reason why it's a little bit louder, higher pitch. So if you want to make really loud popping sounds, maybe try two pieces. Also, when I put two pieces together and try to blow bubbles, it seemed to get a little bit larger for me, but not quite as large. Good, very good amount amount of size in the bubbles. Not as big, again, not as big as this double bubble. But very good size. Uh, before I let you go, I want to talk about the three levels. Talk about the sugar level, the sour level, and the fun level. Let's start out with the sugar level. For each, for each. I don't know what you call this, each black or each piece of, of bubble gum. The sugar level from low, medium to extreme sugar. I'm going to say probably on the low sugar level. It's not that sweet. Um, it's not even close to medium in the medium level. It's just a nice touch of sugar. So it's not heavily injected, loaded with sugar. And it's not sugar coated. So if you like really heavy sugar candies, you probably won't like this. As far as the, the sour level, from low, medium to extreme sour, I did, I did not detect any sourness of this bubble gum from bubble yum. So there's almost like no sourness. Again, if you like sour candies, you probably won't like this. I didn't taste any sourness like at all from from this um, gum, uh, bubble yum candy here. As far as the fun level, from low, medium to extreme fun, I thought it was a lot of fun. I love bubble gum, so it's always fun for me. I've been eating bubble gum since I was like in middle school or something like that. And I'm, I'm always like, blowing bubbles when I was a kid and making popping sounds, kind of irritate all the teachers in, in my uh, in my classes so <laughs> I love bubble gum <laughs> so if you like if you love bubble gums try bubble yum give it a try you might like it of course double bubble from America's original from right here that is still the king the king of bubble gum right here. I'm able to blow like insane big bubbles, like really big. Watch my shorts. Blow really big bubbles. And I can make loud, really loud popping sounds. Extremely loud, so loud that my ears. That's how loud I can get it. <laughs> Sometimes when I do popping, I have to I have to close my ears so I don't I don't feel the pain. <laughs> I go like this. And I pop. It gets really loud. I don't know. I, I don't know what they put in there. I don't know what what kind of 
ingredients to put in here, but but man, it gets real loud and big bubbles now. Let's put let's put the three pieces here.
Okay, for now, I'll see you next time. Bye.